Nigerians in diaspora under the umbrella body of South Middle Bet and Northern Minorities Forum has called on the United Nations UN Secretary General Antonio Gotas to show a keener interest in the ongoing killings in some territories in northern Nigeria. The group presented a letter signed by its president, Sidney Imobio, to the UN Secretary in the in New York on Tuesday, stating that the killings appear to have prompted an armed race among the contending parties, warning that the crisis may engulf the country if the international community continues to look the other way. The group said the killings have become a pattern of life in territories belonging to northern minorities and that and that government officials and security operatives are taking sides. The group has 24 branches in Nigeria. The fact available to us is that minorities have become targets of ethnic cleansing. No fewer than 1,000 ethnic minorities have been hit between November 2019 and July 2020. The worst victims are women and children, the group wrote in the petition. The group called on the UN Secretary General to appoint a special rapporteur to visit Nigeria and ascertain the extent of the incident for appropriate actions. People, people's lives are being taken on a daily basis in southern Kaduna Plateau and territories belong to minorities in the north. The Nigerian and Kaduna state governments appear helpless. It, it is time for the United Nations to appoint a special rapporteur for Nigeria in order to, for the UN to stop the carnage, the group said in the petition. It noted that the killing represents a potential threat to global peace. Nigeria is the biggest country in Africa. The killings in Kaduna and other, place, other places in the country can spur arms raised with each side acquiring arms to fight each other. This is what has happened or what has been happening. With millions of people displaced, including women and children, the possibility of West Africa being destabilized is real. The UN should act at the appropriate time before it is too late, the group wrote. It said at the local front, progressive groups are uniting to save Nigeria from violence, but that local effort needs the support of the international community. The group further stated that while Nigerians need a united front to save the country and prevent a violent breakup, the southern Kaduna, Middle Bet and northern minorities its resolutions call for UN interest and intervention at this time and it has to be this time so guys uh, one thing is that I have noticed people from the northern part of the country they are not saying anything but what they are com concerned with is election 2023 that is what they are calculating all of them the people who are jumping from party to party I have never heard them made such statements you know, concerning what is happening, somebody like a Dugara, this man, uh, Junai Muhammad, talking about a uh, Namdi Kano, uh, should come back to Nigeria to come and uh, to come to come Nigeria to come and I don't know to come and do what if he's bold enough. Those are the things they are talking about. Every one of them, Ushumole, that he, that has just been suspended when he was even the chairman. You will never hear them talk about the killing that has been going on, especially when the heads may have, you know, they were really at the at the at the forefront doing all manner of things. They are still there. They were there and they are still there. We have bandits, all of them. Bola Tinubu will not talk about say, the things going on in that area. Oh, this man that has been talking before, he's not been talking again since he uh, uh, he's been given a uh, traditional title, um, Fanika Yode. I've not been hearing him again. I don't know if you have been hearing. I've not been hearing him again speaking about this because most of the time he's always coming out to speak. But since they're giving him position in this Fulani, whatever, he's not been talking again. You see what we are saying? The vice president, mm -hmm. no, no. The only people who are talking is uh, this man we've heard uh, from him recently, uh, Gabashew. And whatever he says, he's always talking about in favor of a... Uh, the, the people who are committing all this uh, manner of atrocity. Remember the governor of uh, Borno State, what he experienced some days back. He has come out to say, no, it is not these Boko people, it is the Nigerian army that did what they did, that they intercepted his uh, convoy. 
and those ones are denying they are saying they are working. I has been able to see everything. Buruta, we don't even know what they are talking about. So it is just unfortunate. The so-called leaders, how many? I don't know who who and who is even talking in this country. Apart from uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, what do they call them? Uh, civil society groups, individual groups like that. That they are the ones who have been talking. But those who, those of them who are saddled with the responsibility of protecting lives, whether at a local government or at the state level or at the federal level. Oh my goodness, they are not saying anything. Everybody is just keeping quiet. It's a uh, business as usual. They are, they are fighting themselves. Uh, uh, towards a uh, twenty twenty three. And those ones who are see going through election this period. So it's really a terrible one. It's really a terrible one. No one is saying anything. The go uh, the president himself, you know, he's just keeping mum. He's just keeping mum. Very, very painful. Forget about this current UN leadership. Burari government has already blocked that side by planning a full any Muslim woman as the UN Deputy Secretary General. These killings were planned right from the very day APC took over. Any reports you submit regarding the killing of Christians in Nigeria will never be discussed at the Security Council. Meanwhile, the same woman is busy visiting my Maima to divert attention to the little refugee issues of this of the Muslims uh, Rohingyas there. President Buhari, please direct immigration not to renew their international passports once it expires. Let them come back so that we we'll deal with the with them effectively. Okay, if, if that's what someone is saying here. Okay, uh, you can imagine one day God will separate the sheep from the folks in Jesus' name because this one is saying that those ones they should should be they should be deported. They should not renew their passports. The full energy ad is going on in Nigeria and the world is looking at the other side. Okay, Nuruddin Kabiru, how many days do you think your Buhari have left for him to go home? Start counting from today because you are saying those who are reporting the issue in Nigeria or the case in Southern Kaduna that they should not be given visa. When they are this in expired, they should not be given visa so that they can come back. You can imagine what somebody is saying. What the, the reason why they are writing to the UN is not something of worry to these so called northerners, majority of them, because we are not even hearing from them. Those who are even affected, majority of them, we are not hearing from them, apart from the women that came out some, some weeks ago, you know, complaining. And what did the state governor said? Oh, saying that hey, they will be arrested. They were talking about COVID 19. You can, you can imagine at this age and time. It's unfortunate. So, guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below in the comment section.